Hello everyone, we're starting this week's training stories on a high note in more ways than one. This story brought me, the Fearless A team and our viewers so much joy. It reveals the indomitable human spirit and drive to overcome the odds. Yes, the Kai Licha Youth Choir is taking kids off the street and away from gangs. The story will make you smile, right? Yeah. Take a look. Kailicha is known as a gangster's paradise with crime spiraling out of control. The high unemployment rate is also of concern, but there are many residents who are defying the odds. And if you listen closely, there's a sound of hope echoing through these streets. Powerfully talented and singing a different song about Kailicha, these youngsters are fine-tuning the chorus to their future. The Kailicha Youth Choir was formed in 2018 to get kids off the streets and away from gangs. If you can just uh, look um, at Kailicha, Kailicha is a, is a crime zone the crimes on township so what I wanted is to, 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 to take that mind off people that Kailicha is, is a crime zone so I wanted to bring at least something that will will motivate people to come to Kailicha and know that there is something more into Kailicha than the crime zone that is uh, in the Kailicha. The conditions under which they practice are far from ideal but that isn't stopping this choir from hitting all the right notes. And it's been a life-changing experience for these youngsters and their families. Just wanted to get away from all the bad things that are happening in Kailicha. You know, like there's crime, there's gangs, there's drugs. Like I just wanted to get away, like escalate the world. Kazimla is just 14 years old. He says this choir has given him a voice to speak about the troubles in his community. Last year I was so shy that people didn't know me. Some people didn't recognize me. They were like, oh, this is you. This is really you. This is really you. You've shown us that who you are. The choir is now looking for its big break. The goal is to record their own music so that they can take things to the next level. Shahan Ramki soon, feel SA, Kailicha. It's a major pain in the butt, mm -hmm. yes, for all South Africans, and it's not getting any better. Absolutely not. Load shedding is like that unwanted gift you never asked for. Exactly, but one wine farm is beating the blackouts by going completely off the grid. Here's how they're doing it. Some of the finest wines in the world enjoyed by those with a sophisticated palate. Now is a critical time for the harvest and export process, but there are several factors challenging this industry. Agriculture is the backbone of the Western Cape local economy, and to say things have been tricky for farmers of late is a gross understatement. Many farmers have also had to get creative to circumvent an unreliable electricity supply. Electricity, we noticed, was rising through early 2010s, 2011, 2012, and that's when we took the decision to actually commission MLT drives or MLT uh, to actually install this large solar power. The industry's post-pandemic recovery has been a complex balancing act. But this wine farm has managed to go entirely off the grid by producing its own solar power. So the solar power definitely has helped us a lot. Um, it allows our whole team, accounts, uh, tasting room, everywhere on the farm to actually keep functioning. Uh, nowadays without internet you're almost lost. Um, so a lot of that is done by electricity, but majority of our focus is the warm service that we offer and the hospitality side, so that you don't necessarily need power always, uh, but it definitely helps. So. Ultimately, it means job security for workers. Uh, it's not electricity. I got to get a job because it's not electricity. That's why you, my boss, you buy solar. Despite the challenges and rising input costs, local farmers are optimistic they can recoup recent losses through creative thinking and a troubleshooting mentality. Natalie Malchas, Fiel Cape Town. 
Well, most of us had a lovely day off this week. The importance of the day is so much bigger. Absolutely. Reconciliation Day is about reflecting on the past, celebrating our democracy and uniting as a nation. We spoke to South Africans about what it means to them. Well, it was different when we were younger. It was so much different. You know, our parents were different and we were taught different things. Um, I feel like my kids, they go to a, a diverse school. So, you know, our kids, they don't see color, which is, which is stunning. We're grateful for all the things that happen from apartheid on now. Because we can now um, sit together in public. Children can go to school together. Um, we can work together. Every, everyone can get along, all races. There's no um, victimized and stuff like that because we all are one. For me, diversity and how we accept the change, um, you know, since back then. We know, all know the history of what happened in South Africa. And yeah, so diversity for me with the day means spending the day with my family because we have a diverse family culture of ourselves. We must get along to build this country together. So I think it is a very good and a very important day for us as South Africans and to the other world as well. Truly a, a truly, truly a rainbow nation. I mean, we, we really have come out of this dark, dark hole, I believe and we've come together and just expressed ourselves you know and I, I think that's important for every individual is just to be themselves and have the same rights and live. I think Reconciliation Day for me means um, it means a lot it's a holiday first I think it's first it's December it adds bonus to what has been going through through the whole year but I think it means time to be with family as well it's time to spend with your loved ones time to have fun especially for us the youth and um, just to reconcile with um, your loved ones, your friends and everyone around it. Well that's it from us. Right, take care and thanks for watching.